Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch and today I'm going to show you how to make wings. I'm going to show you how to make feathered wings in B-Roy. They're going to be kind of simple feathered wings, but you know, feathered wings nonetheless. It's also going to require you to do some unity work. But anyways, we're going to start with a freehand group. Um, we're going to pull it down to about as far down as we want the wings to go. I'm actually going to change the height to make it short because I don't really want to deal with too many of these points. I'm gonna pull it like, like this. And I'm gonna pull it up because I'm gonna have the wings kind of come up like that. Alright, so unlike the other um, wings, the butterfly wings, the demon wings. Uh, these wings we're gonna be able to get the curl the way we want. And I mean, like, the way I did this here, you can also do this for those two wings. You can do each side individually. But this is how I did it. <clears throat> so, what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that we're on diamond and we're gonna be on, uh, fluffy. And we're just gonna kind of be on, like, an average whatever. Alright, and we're gonna... Make sure that this is into the center. We'll start from here, like the center of the back, I guess. Come up for the top of the wing and then down. And I'm gonna kind of adjust the shape I want this. I think I kind of want it more like, eh, kind of like that, I guess. And uh, before I get into the feathers, I'm gonna just kind of like adjust this slightly. And this is just a regular hair texture, but we can adjust it later if we want. Something like that, I guess. Alright, <clears throat> and now we're gonna start on the tedious uh, of making feathers. And I'm going to do maybe not too many feathers. Uh, because I'm lazy. So, wings are kind of divided into two parts. You have like this part here, and then you have like this part here. And it's never usually this long, but you know what? It's fantasy. We're gonna do what we want. And like this part here, they all come from the back, and then here they're gonna come straight down. So I'm gonna start from here and kind of pull my feathers down from here. I'm gonna do my first layer. That's gonna come to bite me in the butt later on. There's a lot of feathers. There's always so many feathers. Alright. And then, you know, we're just gonna keep down. And I'm just gonna kinda end it there. I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna just make it a little shorter. This one actually could probably stand to go for another round of feathers, but honestly, ow. This is a tutorial. We don't need to do. You can have as many rows of feathers as you want. But keep in mind, the more feathers you have, the more work you're going to have to do in Unity. It's a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what. In fact, I might just... Uh... Delete this. Delete this, and I'm just going to make this kind of like a... Wider feather at the top here. And just adjust it slightly so it just fills in that gap, because really that's all I'm looking to do is fill in the gap. And this will come here. And if you want, you can kind of adjust which way the feathers go. Um, and that's pretty much how we're going to be doing this. Uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to thicken this whole thing up a little bit. Just like that. And really this right here should be pulled in towards the back, like that. And uh, for these feathers, normally you would want to like space them a little better. I'm 
You do like that. All right, you might get the general idea. And then for the other side, we're gonna just clone and clip. Bam! Now she got all these feathers. Um, as far as the texture can go, you can leave it like this if you really want. Um, let's see. We're gonna do, I guess, white feathers. And you can actually just paint a feather texture on there if you really want. I'm just gonna kind of give a little bit of a shading going on. And I'll add a little bit of blue into this. Take this opaque. I'm just kind of doing like weird strokes up and down. You can kind of see that. I'm just shading down a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so let's go over to the texture. We're going to change this. Uh, texture to this white one and now we have like white wings and you can adjust all this like everything is adjustable and you can make it however you want all right now we're gonna add the bones I'm gonna grab this hair, and I'm gonna create bone group, and what I'm gonna do is grab that really long first thing we did. I'm gonna set that as the axis, and I'm gonna make sure the fixed point's all the way back. Um, honestly, like, I really don't want too many bones. I'm gonna do it down to three. Let's go one, two, three. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Three, fixed point down to zero, and then we're gonna grab this long one. You just select it, and then you hit, go over here and hit set as axis. And then that will be the X point. So that means, like, when the, uh, when they're moving, it's, it's gonna kind of, like, fall from here. Although, why are you all the way up here? What are you doing? Hold on, I'm gonna just redo this one. Flip. Alright, it's a little high. I'm gonna just try to pull it down. So now try to adjust it to line up properly. Alright, it's just a few of these feathers that are out of place, so we're just going to manually fix those. We're just going to start with this one. We want this to come down to about where this one is. And then just sort of like slowly adjust. It's pretty tedious. I get that. But sometimes tedium happens. Yeah, I like that. All right, make sure the uh, bones are done. All right, so now we have like these wings that are just kind of like bobbing about. Now what you're gonna do is export, export. Make sure this isn't enabled, and then you're gonna export. I'm gonna do bird wing test. Okay. We're gonna open up Unity, do a new project, do 
3D. We'll do those wing tests. Great. All right, so we have our Unity open, and I'm using Unity 2019.2.4F1. Uh, um, and what I'm going to need to do is install Uni VRM. Uh, there are many different versions of it and many different versions of Unity, and the one that I use is um, Uni VRM point three uh, five three. Uh, so I just dragged and dropped that right over here in the assets, and I'm just going to import. Um, Various versions have different errors. I do not know the answers to those errors. I am sorry, you're going to have to ask the person who created the UniVRM. Uh, but yeah, now it's in there. Now uh, we're also going to need uh, the bone weight transfer uh, package, which uh, you can find the links to that down in the description, I guess. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import our model. All right, so here's our bird. <clears throat> bird. Bird. All right, where's my bird? Where's the bird? We're gonna open all these. I'm gonna do a little adjustment on like, just kind of move them a little bit. Cause they weren't perfectly centered and unfortunately it's just kind of like, how shit happens, you know? Sometimes it just happens that way. It's fine. Yeah, we're we'll just move that over a little bit. Maybe down. I feel like it could stand to rotate up a little bit. Now we're going to right click on this, on the, the character, and open prefab. Now I had mentioned before that this one's kind of a bit of a pain in the ass, and I'm going to show you why. So we're going to open up the uh, tools of bone weight. Uh, bone weight transfer tool. And we're going to grab the head, and drop it over in the middle one, because we are starting from the head and we're moving it to the upper chest. Uh, and then we're going to take these two and we're going to move it into the upper chest. And then we're going to kind of collapse the rest of this because there's just way too much stuff there. We're going to grab this first one and move. I'm going to grab this, the second one, and move. And then every single one of these hairs, we're going to have to move where it's attached to uh, and if you forget one you'll definitely know later on while they're moving because one of the hairs is not going to move like the rest uh, so this is why I said I didn't want to do too too many hair uh, feathers because I've done one before that had uh, close to 50 something feathers and that took me forever Thirty-four, kill me, please. All right, now that we've done it, <clears throat> we're gonna hit this back button. Bruh, excuse me, what did you just do? I want to move this, move this back up here. I don't know what happened. It just kind of went. I just slumped a little bit. Something happened. I don't know. Either way, it's fixed. Um. All right, now we're gonna go into the pla the scenes and I'm gonna take the hips and I'm gonna well actually let me take the head rotate the head make sure none of these hairs are attached yeah well that's pretty good and then let's just see what it looks like when we wiggle the hips yeah la, 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 la. It's kind of a slow follow but it follows 
I'm gonna go to the secondary. And I'm just gonna make the a little stiffer. A little stiffer. I'm gonna lower the drag force a little bit. So I'm gonna go play C. Yeah, that's better. So since we lowered the drag force, it's not like slowly to follow, kind of quicker to follow. And it's stiffer, so it's still kind of like a bit wing like. There we go. And uh, that's it. That's pretty much what, how you do in order to make these Anjal wings. Uh, if you have any questions, do the thing, do the thing. Here's some more words, you know, uh, the um, credit thingy, you know, make sure you have this, have that. And uh, be sure to subscribe because I like subscribers. And I want to have all the subscribers. I want a million, million bazillion subscribers. Uh, subscribe because you just love, you love me. All right. Anyways. Uh, anyways, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. Down in the comments. I'll see you later.